What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Topps Chrome Baseball Hobby Box brand new release for 2023. Uh, just came out in the past couple of days and I know a lot of people are always amped up for this release so um, I'll definitely be opening a ton of this on the channel. Um, so like and subscribe if you guys want to see more Topps Chrome course we already did the jumbo box on the channel yesterday go check that out uh kind of a disappointing box but still cool to see you know what you can find in those boxes there's a ton of new stuff that tops put into these uh new formats all that good stuff so let's get into all of that right now before we rip into our box and i'll put that information up in the top left corner we'll start with the price hobby boxes you can find for right around 150 dollars a box um, that's what Tops released them on their website for. They may be creeping up a little bit more, maybe more towards 165, 175, um, but I expect them to settle around there. Um, as far as how many packs you're gonna get, it's gonna be 24 packs per box with four cards per pack. Pretty standard for Tops Chrome boxes. Uh, the big difference being that Tops reduced the number of autographs this year. You're only gonna get one Chrome autograph in each hobby box. Uh, kind of a bummer since it was nice to get two, but hopefully that means the autos will be of higher quality. Uh, somehow I kind of doubt that, but I guess we'll find out throughout our rips of 2023 Topps Chrome. Um, like I said, a ton of new stuff in Topps Chrome, a huge checklist, but uh, some hobby exclusive stuff. You can find the oranges out of 25, the orange wave out of 25, the red wave out of five. You have the radiating rookies, which are a pretty rare insert. Uh, you can also find the Hidden Gems, Let's Go, Topps Chrome Expose. Uh, you got the Taco Fractors out of five, crazy looking refractor. Uh, you have the Image Variations, the SSPs. The case hits are the Ultraviolet All-Stars. And then you can look out for those buyback cards. Um, Topps is doing the buyback again this year, the MVP buyback. So make sure you save your... Uh, probably your Otanis and Acunas at this point, but save your base cards. They could be worth 20 bucks down the line, which is pretty nice for a base card. Um, and then as far as the rookie class goes, I'm sure you guys are aware of who's in it by this point, but you got Adley Rutschman, Corbin Carroll, Gunnar Henderson, Josh Young, Francisco Alvarez, Riley Green, Jordan Walker, Anthony Volpe, and much, much more. Hopefully we'll find all of them today hopefully in a autograph or parallel form. But let's just hope we get our autograph in this box. Uh, if you have not seen that jumbo box video, we were unfortunately the victims of being shorted a hit. We got two of our autographs out of three, so that was unfortunate. Let's open our box up. We'll place all of our packs right there. Here is the pack design this year for Topps Chrome. Pretty nice looking. Of course, you can find the odds at tops.com. Something that Topps has been doing this year. Not sure if it's because the checklist is so big or what it is, but here is the design as well. Nice chrome finish with the typical Topps back right there. And let's see what we have. 24 packs. Starting off with Ian Happ, nice George Springer, 88 insert. Those are not numbered. Zach Wheeler and a rookie of Tristan Casas. Hopefully we can find one of those super rare inserts. I'd like to see one of those in person for myself. There's another 88. This is not a rare insert. Vladdy, Brian Bayo, and Dermis Garcia. Let me know your guys' thoughts on Topps Chrome this year, if you guys are fans or not, if you're planning on ripping a bunch or not. There's a nice Corbin Carroll rookie. Another nice rookie refractor right there. Riley Green, 88 insert. Cal Rally and Cody Clemens. So we got our first couple sleeveable cards there with the Corbin Carroll base rookie and the Riley Green insert. Yeah, I'm kind of skeptical of Topps reducing the number of autographs. It, it makes me think that they just printed too much of it. Or 
they printed a lot of it and didn't have enough autographs to cover all that they planned on printing, but that is the pessimist in me. Another 88 insert. So we've hit, what, four of these already? Josh Young, nice rookie. Rosarena and Pasquantino. Nice thing about Chrome is there is a little bit more value to those base rookies, insert rookies, and of course your refractor rookies. Don't see anything thick in this one. We're gonna have a Future Stars, very nice. Julio Rodriguez, Future Stars insert. Those are not numbered, but they have a very cool design this year. Kind of a nice fire or color blast design. Matthew Libertor and MJ Melendez. Got a prism refractor here. It's not gonna be numbered. Brian Reynolds. Dermis Garcia, rookie prism refractor. Like I said, not numbered on those. Shea Langoliers, rookie. And Gunnar Henderson. Another nice rookie to sleeve up right there. We'll keep it moving through our pack. Still looking for our first numbered card and our, our only autograph, I guess. Let's see what we have here. Another prism refractor. Can we get another rookie? Very nice, Brian Bayo. It's a nice one, good pitcher. Cedric Mullins and Oswald Peraza. Sleeve up that Bayo. Alex Bregman. Ooh, we have a nice insert here. Is that gonna be one of those, yep, Technicolor inserts, but it is a good one. Mike Trout. Those are not numbered either. Not sure how rare those are. Might be one or two per box, but I'll sleeve it up anyways. Still looking for that first numbered card and our autograph. Don't think it's here. Shane Bieber, Pete Alonzo, Refractor, DJ LeMayhew, and Dalton Varsho. So a lot, a lot of base packs are just like basic insert refractor packs. There's a nice one though. Ronald Acuna Jr. Could be the MVP buyback card. Could be worth $20 down the line for just that base card. And we have another refractor here. Jake McCarthy. Very, very off center. Oh man, the left side is super thick compared to the right. So some more QC issues. Seen a lot of scratching on these cards. I had the uh, missing hit in my jumbo box. I don't think Top stepped up their game with the QC, unfortunately, but it's been a trend we've unfortunately seen for the majority of the year. Let's see what's in this next pack. Jonathan Aranda, rookie. Another refractor. Austin Riley. Bobachette and Sandy Alcantara. All right, we're getting pretty far into the box without seeing a numbered card yet. That kind of worries me, especially for the price point that you're paying for these hobby boxes, $150 plus. You'd like to see some numbered cards. Next pack up, ask and you shall receive. We have a pink speckle here. Not sure what those are number two, but let's see what it is. It's a Ken Waldachuk rookie pink speckle. That is tough to see that number. I believe it's on a 350. Yeah, 31 out of 350 right there. Our first numbered card is a rookie, which is pretty nice. Fortunately, not a big name. Oakland Athletic Pitcher, not the uh, Adley Rutschman or Corbin Carroll that we're looking for, but it is our best card so far. Got to throw it in the back. Let's see what else we can find in this box. Brett Beatty, another non-numbered prism behind that. Lots of flipping this year as well, which can get somewhat annoying, especially if you're breaking a ton of this stuff. There's James Altman.
next pack up. Looks like just a base refractor pack. Actually, a negative refractor. Those are not numbered, but Anthony Rizzo negative refractor. Gallon and Anthony Rendon. All right, I think we're approaching probably halfway through the box, if not a little further. So it's starting to look out for our autograph here. Another Prism Refractor, Shane Bieber. Ethan Small Rookie and Oscar Colas. Pretty good rookie card right there. Let's see what we have in our next pack. Don't see much. We do have a refractor that's upside down, of course. Brandon Drury, base refractor. And Bo Naylor, rookie card, rounds out that pack. So still just the one numbered card. No autograph yet. Still a bunch of packs to get one though. Another base refractor. Very nice. Oscar Colas, rookie refractor. It's a pretty good card take that one. Lodolo and Brandon Drury again. So I'll get that Colas sleeved up. It's not a super valuable card, but the way this box has been going so far, it might end up being in the top two or three couple cards. Looks like we have around six packs left. Still looking for that autograph. David VR, Eggy Rosario, Cal Mitchell, rookie, so just a base pack right there. Let's see if it's hiding in this pack. Okay, we do have a thick card. I'm not sure if it's going to be our autograph or not. It might be a refractor auto. Let's see what it is. It is a rookie. Caleb Hamilton, refractor auto on card kind of signed a little low there caleb but that's okay out of 499 186 out of 499 fortunately not not a big name here uh i have a feeling that i was i'm gonna be right unfortunately about tops and the autograph situation this year it does not seem that the quality of the autographs increased uh there may be more parallels but a lot of low end or unknown names on that auto checklist which it's hard to it's hard to uh open a hobby or jumbo box and get a bunch of no name autos it's tough to uh tough to swallow that so we got three packs left here Let's see if we have any more numbered cards or rare inserts I think we just have another Base Refractor here, Nick Lodolo, Correa, and McCutcheon. Two packs left. There's a nice Anthony Volpe, base rookie. Have a Titans insert of Max Scherzer. Those are not numbered. Jose Ramirez and Jock Peterson. Once I sleeve up this Volpe, we're on to our last pack. Kind of brutal. Let's see if the last pack can save it. Last pack magic. I think we just have an insert here. Jordan Alvarez. Oh, at least it's a rookie insert. It's pretty cool. Adley Rutschman, rookie Titans insert right there. Not numbered once again. Mike Yastrzemski and a Riley Green rounds out our hobby box. Uh, overall, I would say this is honestly probably an average hobby box, maybe a little below average, hopefully. Um, not much to write home about, but we will do a quick recap here. Starting off with that Adley that we just saw, insert right there. Some nice base rookies. Got the Rizzo negative, more nice base rookies. Hopefully that'll be a $20 card down the road. Mike Trout, Technicolor insert. Brian Bayo, Prism Refractor. Some more nice rookies. Got that Oscar Colas rookie refractor, not numbered. Got the Ken Waldachuk rookie refractor out of 350. And the hit of the box, the autograph, 
Caleb Hamilton on card rookie refractor auto out of 499 right there. So um, I'm not sure how much hobby or jumbo I'll open in the future. I'm definitely going to get some blasters, um, some of the monster boxes, and uh, I may do some more hobby and jumbo down the line. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, just stay tuned for those videos and thank you guys for watching. That's it for this one. Bye.